Nini and I are going to go into a plant nursery. I don't know what they call me. I think she calls them a garden, where they sell garden plants and that. Nurseries back home and Oz. Uh, going to get ourselves some water lilies. I'm going to see how that goes. They reckon that that's good for cleaning up water systems and that. I have an algae problem, guys. Our pond water is green. I don't think we have any fish left. Not an expert on this kind of stuff. It's the first time I've had a pond. Done a bit of Google research. The algae is created from sunlight and excess food nitrates in the water. So we're gonna whack some water lilies in there. See if we can get that water clean and then try with the fish again. Let's see how that goes, hey. There's a few other things Nini wants to do, so just a day out and about, but the nursery is the first thing. That was the idea that got the ball rolling to go out. And then while we're out, Nini wants to do a few other things. So, you guys are coming, yeah. Do they have any other types of this is there? No. Just these? No, no, okay, Tadai. Tadai, huh? What for they? C sip? Is that 40,000? 40, 40,000 kip, you're looking at just under seven Australian dollars for these at least. You're getting a couple of different types in the pot. Take that one. Yeah, this. You like this? Yeah. Or this pink one? take three I knew it wouldn't be the end of it I knew it would just be the start so baby oh, somebody. Uh, she's got her eye on some cycads um, they're growing um, okay at the restaurant yeah, they, not yeah they're growing pretty good in the heat and the full sun here some sand three it's three <laughs> Some seeing hard on the side catch, you're looking at 350,000 kip. So, um, I'd say about 60 bucks. That's just still not too bad. 60,000 for cycads that big, home in Oz, well over 100. You, you're closing on the 200 mark, I'm pretty sure. They've got some good plants in this nursery, Nini. This is for indoors. Indoors. Yeah, indoors. Not a bad selection at all compared to the, some of the other nurseries I've seen here. Not here to compare prices today. We're mainly just here to get our pond clean. I'm sick of looking at the green filthy water and not seeing any fish in there. Is there anything else you need? coconut palms you need flowers for what in the front of buffet lunch people okay just so to tart it up a bit no, just have a green yeah. or no have a you don't need green. flower just nice and something that will handle the sun be and nice and green hand, hand in the oh the bougainvillea <laughs> they love the sun the old bogues. Pick, pick some colours. The nice bright colours. The that deep cerise pink is yeah probably one of the most prolific flowering bougainvilleas there is. The bogues are the same. The bougainvilleas are the same price as what the uh, water lilies are. Forty thousand kip. So you looking at? Oh, it's that just a few cents short of seven Australian bucks, probably around the four fifty-five dollar mark US. What have we got? See, seven, four, yeah, two hundred eighty thousand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So what did we get it for? 270. How many days to keep? I have no idea how long it takes to get clean. Well, you have to. Nina doesn't really believe me it will clean the water up. But, um, yes, I want you it's better to and take I, I can't guarantee this water, that it will. Take this water out and take the new water out. Yeah, you... Nina thinks we had to get rid of this water and put clean stuff in just for the plants, but uh, from what I googled, that's what plants do. They they live off the algae in the water and clean the water up. So I think it was just pointless cleaning the water. You know, I could be wrong. Nene could be right. Time will tell. But, How many days? But it is a natural remedy. So Mr. Google reckons to clean up green water is lilies. In the, in the in the water so I'm hoping that this will fix it once the water's cleaned up we do something about this fountain gonna whack some more fish back in there see how they go okay I noticed brother Joy's fountain the other day and how clear his water is and fish in here yeah yeah uh, they're good sized fish. That's a nice setting here. Brother Joy did have water lilies. His fish ate them. <laughs> we'll buy one on a stick. They're some sip. 30,000 kip. Five bucks. She stole this. Saving money, she stole it from Brother Joy. <laughs> what you doing, mate? I'm waiting for you to fall in. What did Joy say when you asked him? Do like him. He just let me buy some the big. I, I think you went over there because you not believe and, me. And he will do one for me. Okay, but did he say if the plants will clean the water? because I'm not very viewing. <laughs> <laughs> he, he agreed with me, you're just not saying. Uh, it's oh. really much use a long time, it's not very, very quick. Yeah, it takes, it does take a long time. They're not going to eat it overnight. Yeah. Get, yeah. The plants will get fat. Yeah. <laughs> right, Maybe one month. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll be able to determine within a few weeks if it's starting to clean up. Um, might get a storm this afternoon, a bit cloudy. You guys probably can't see that, it doesn't look so stormy to use. Okay, where are we going to, boss? I'm um, going to the grocery shop. Grocery stop near the Toyota um, dealership. And lunch. And lunch. Okay, let's go. At Crazy Corner, first in, first served. Got to keep track of everything. What's going on? Go okay, give you a quick look around in here again. Jam packed full of Western goodies. There's Nina up in the packaging area. We've come to um, source out some doggy bags. We're changing the menu just a little bit for people who want to buy in kilo lots and so because they're actually paying for a kilo if they don't eat it, they'll be able to take it home in, um, in packaging. We call them doggy bags. But while she's doing that, I'll give you guys a look around and I'll see if they've got any of that good coffee I found here last time I was here. Uh, doesn't look like they have. Might have just been a one-off. Spewing. 
Okay, uh, I'll grab some milk too because we're nearly out of milk. So uh, milk, I was asked the other day how much am I paying for milk. Yeah, around my little local corner shop, look, 30, 32,000 kip, it's 29,000 here. Uh, subscriber said he was paying four to four dollars fifty US in Cambodia. Yeah, that, that's that's up there, dude. Twenty nine thousand kip. What's that? It's just over three US dollars. Oh, as you can see, no room for shopping trolleys here. Just going to see if they've got cereals that we're used to. Fruit juices. Biscuits. Bet you they don't have Tim Tams. Oh, Buckley's are fine in Tim Tams over here. I don't even think they've got a cereal section. Oh, well, they've got almond milk and things like that. Your long life type milks. Oh, Oreos. It's probably as close as I'm going to get to a Tim Tam. Or a mint slice. I could go a mint slice right now. Just the little things you miss when you're over here. Oh, here we go. Corn flakes. This dude was paying eight bucks US for a packet of corn flakes too. Hey fellas. So you got your Milo whole grain. This here we go. This is what I usually live on for breakfast. Oats. What have we got? 18,000 kip is three dollars for 400 grams so it's on par with the uh, 42,000 kip on the kilo the other day uh, this is just as expensive I was and we are in the center of town also not far from the tourist district um, I guess the further you get away from the tourist district maybe the prices might drop a bit you know it has been pointed out that uh, some of these supermarkets could be preying on uh, the westerns because it is a tourist area which does make sense jack the prices up because the tourists are in this area and that's what they like eating but I'm going to go out to uh, into some of the suburbs into some of their supermarkets just to compare prices I'm getting there. Cans of Pepsi, 5,000 kip, about 80 cents. Aussie. Can of beer, 7,000 kip. So you're looking about a buck ten there. Or the large cans, large tinnies, 10,000 kip. Still well under the $2 mark. Different beer lao amber, beer lao poppy, beer lao white. I think I'm gonna to have to try some of them one day. So like 8,000 kip, it's still under the one US buck mark. You're looking at about a dollar thirty Oz. What are Magnum's worth at home? They're fifteen thousand kip here, so you're looking at two dollars fifty. And the same street symbol but it's called walls here. They are exactly the same. But I'm pretty sure you can't get a Magnum for 250. dollars Nina just grabbed uh, Summersby apple cider, an Australian, Australian cider company. 33 Australian dollars. How much will you sell it for? 
15,000 gi per one bottle. So which will be $2.50 Australian, you buy it for $1.40. $2.50. You buy a bottle of that from Darling Harbour or, or somewhere, you'll be paying near 10 bucks. Yes, Thief I bastards. Those plants are working, guys. Just over here. It's brought the fish back to life. <laughs> well, it hasn't really. I think they were in there, we just couldn't see them because of all the green algae in there. But we've been running this fountain all day. Still green the water, it's not going to clean it up overnight, we know that. But I've seen two, I thought there was just one, but when I grabbed the, the camera, it came out and there was two. So we didn't kill them after all, we just couldn't see the bastards. It, it was, well it is filthy. How good do the lilies look? Makes it look much better, they go with the, the colour of the water, nice and green. Hopefully these things will work. And we'll keep you guys updated. So that's it. Just a quick one today. Uh, didn't get to go out to lunch. Couldn't get a park, so we just came home anyway. Uh, many more vids to come. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already have. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new shit, any of the new vids. Stay cool, guys. Catch you later.